Sean and I here with the Fightly Report. We're live from the Dolly Stevens Convention Center at the Fit Expo. I have little bulldog Felice Herrig here making an unannounced appearance. I didn't see you on the website. Um, yeah, I just came on a couple days notice. You know, I, I usually do a lot like that. You know, just my schedule is so busy. I've been just got back from Utah, did the, the FitCon convention, and, uh, you know, All Max has been a sponsor of mine for five years now, and I guess this is the first year at, at the Donald E. Convention Center, and they're like, oh, can, can you come out? And I was said, sure, why not? <laughs> awesome. It's a pleasure to see you here. I'm sure a nice surprise for everybody. My question for you is, right now you're outside the Ultimate Fighter House. You're back in the public eye. The UFC machine is back in your career. How does that feel? How has it been just the past six months? Uh, you know, it's actually been um, kind of overwhelming. Uh, the Ultimate Fighter, there was just so much preparation leading in onto the show, then being on the show, then going, doing all the media after, then being back in fight camp, and back in fight camp again. Um, right now, I'm just kind of trying to wind down from fighting a little bit. I'm doing American Ninja Warrior. Um, I leave in a few weeks for that, so American Ninja Warrior 7 uh, will air in June, so you guys will have to check that out. <laughs> Awesome, congratulations. And you feel at this point it's also important just to keep in shape because you never know when the UFC will call on, especially the strawweight division, to fight. We just had a big fight and uh, announced Jessica Pane, your friend, will be fighting for the, w the UFC Women's Strawweight title against Johanna Young Jajak. How do you feel about this fight? Uh, you know, I'm really excited. I think it's a good stylistic matchup. Um, Jessica has really good striking, and she also is dangerous on the ground as well. Um, but Joanna has really good takedown defense. Um, I think it's just, you know, it's, it's a great stylistic matchup. Um, I, I like them both. You know, I think they're both great fighters. And that's the thing with the strawweight division is that I feel like anyone can be champion on any given day because the division's so deep, and it's so deep with uh, such, you know, such different fight styles. And also, a lot of the girls haven't had a chance to really study all the all of the girls and you know you have all these girls coming in from overseas now that we've never heard of so we don't really know what they're about or what their fight style is like um, but I'm really excited for Jessica I know she was supposed to fight uh, Juliana Lima um, not sure what happened with that um, we actually me and Jessica texted this morning a little bit back and forth not to name drop or anything but I know some people in MMA but um yeah so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that fight just there's a lot of fights that I'm looking forward to coming up. Excellent. And um, I want to ask you about uh, women, you know, portraying themselves sexually in MMA. Do you think that's a positive for women to go out there, you know, portray themselves, you know, being sexy, being tough, and you know, helping their career out, you know? Um, I think that every woman should be, feel strong enough to just be themselves. And if, you know, it's, it, it's been known that sex sells, but I don't think that you should just throw yourself out there and, and be raunchy or trashy, but, you know, tasteful with what you do. And, um, I mean, I see nothing wrong with showing that you can be tough and also a, a strong woman. And, that, and that's what, you know, I'm a woman, and I like to be a woman, and I like to put on nice clothes. And it's not about being sexy. It's just about being, being like, being comfortable to be in your own skin and to put yourself out there and portray yourself as who you are and not feel that you need to fit into this mold and be somebody that you're not. Definitely. And a big hype fight night tonight, Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Who do you have? Uh, I actually, I, I, I love them both. Um, I think Mayweather's going to take it. Um, I know that it's, it's catch weight. You know, it's 10 years in the making, the fight. But I just... Um, I don't know. I think Pacquiao will have speed, and I think Mayweather will have strength and size. Um, I think it's going to come down to the later rounds for sure. So I'm going to just throw it out there and say Mayweather, but I really don't know. I'm not, I'm not really good at, at these fight guesses. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be a great fight we're all going to enjoy. Is there anything like to see your fans, please? Uh, just thanks for all uh, supporting me, and uh, check me out on American Ninja Warrior this summer. Sounds good. Sean Lanyo with the Fight Report, Little Bulldog Felice Herrick. Thank you for being on the Fightly Report. Thank you. Thank you very much.